Excellency. General Cooper says that the Sylvanian troops are about to land on Fedonia soil. This means war. Something must be done. War would mean a prohibitive increase in our taxes. Hey, I got an uncle lives in taxes. No, I'm talking about taxes, money, dollars. Dallas, that's where my uncle lives. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> More bad news. Didn't I tell you? Your Excellency. What's on your mind, babe? In behalf of the women of Fredonia, I have taken it upon myself to make one final effort to prevent war. No kidding. I talked to Ambassador Trentino, and he says Sylvania doesn't want war either. Either. Doesn't want war either. Either. Skip it. I've taken the liberty of asking the ambassador to come over here because we both felt that a friendly conference would settle everything peacefully. He'll be here any moment. Mrs. Teasdale, you did a noble deed. I'd be unworthy of the high trust that's been placed in me if I didn't do everything within my power to keep our beloved Fredonia at peace with the world. I'd be only too happy to meet Ambassador Trentino and offer him on behalf of my country the right hand of good fellowship. And I feel sure that he will accept this gesture in the spirit in which it is offered. But suppose he doesn't. A fine thing that'll be. I hold out my hand and he refuses to accept it. That'll add a lot to my prestige, won't it? Me, the head of a country snubbed by a foreign ambassador. Who does he think he is that he can come here and make a sap out of me in front of all my people? Think of it. I hold out my hand and that hyena refuses to accept it. Why, the cheap four-flushing swine, he'll never get away with it, I tell you. He'll never get away with it. So, you refuse to shake hands with me, eh? Oh. Mrs. Cesar, this is the last straw. There's no turning back now. This means war. 